Hi everyone, it's Gail. I'm back with part two of our eco dyeing little session and my sweet cameraman's making me laugh. So, so there's that. Okay, for this part, um, you need a bag or something to get rid of your pieces of garden. And I just have a paper towel just in case. I have some rocks because of course the wind came up and so so there's that so uh, I'll, I'll need to usually I lay these papers out on my deck and have them dry that way but today we're gonna have to pick them up because it's windy so this is the first batch that we did and that it has been sitting out in the Sun I just kind of sat it there and this one just now came out of the boiling water so it's still all soggy normally I take them out right after they come out of the boiling water which so that one will show you what I normally do but this one should be dry a little bit so let's just let's just see what we got on this one you you'll remember that we did blue food coloring so I'm anxious to see what that did I have I have no idea so um, and in the last episode I uh, told you that I normally use red food coloring and if you want to see the examples of that I do have um, those eco dyed paper in digital form on my Etsy cinnamon tea okay so I took off the first um, first wire and then we had we had watercolor paper, if you will recall, on the top. And it does give it a little grid mark, which is kind of fun. And see all these little bits? Once it dries, those will all just brush off. But at this point, everything is still kind of wet. And so you just kind of peel it off and throw it into, the, into your garbage. Okay, this was a rose and rose leaves. So, so that's what that turned out. I don't see that it's a whole lot different using the blue dye as it was with the red, but okay, let's see what else we have. This was the top of my husband's stage. Ooh, that made some kind of, kind of cool little marks right there. Are you zeroing in cameraman? <laughs> And that one, that one's really pretty. Let me, I feel like I'm, I've got the shadows, but that's a pretty one. And this was a white envelope and the places where the plants weren't have turned kind of blue. So I think that's what we're getting from, from our blue, I'm gonna put a rock on those, um, from our blue food coloring, ew. This part's kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, but it's fun to see what you've gotten. So I just roll them kind of and peel them off. This was, I think, a blue piece of paper to begin with. So I don't know, some of the blue on that envelope could have leached out of this blue paper too. I don't know, it's all an experiment really. It's kind of like jelly printing in that you kind of just don't know what you're gonna get and it's just really fun to peel them apart and see. Ooh, so that was the daisy. Blech. <laughs> so gross. Okay, and that paper tore a little bit because of the bunchiness of the of the daisy but that's okay you can still use bits and pieces in collage or whatever but they're turning out pretty fun i'm excited okay let's do a couple more of this batch and then we'll go over to the other one because i added green to the other ones just to see these are the berries off my mayday tree and they make a fun little ugh, yucky A bird just flew in above us. I hope nothing untoward happens. <laughs> oh my gosh, the other day we were eating lunch and uh, Robin flew right into our window. Poor little, 
<laughs> I think he was okay, but he was like staggering around, kind of shaking his head like, what just happened? Okay, so this is fun, this right where those berries are. You see that? Isn't that kind of cool? Thank you, cameraman. You're doing such a good job. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's kind of like I can't stop because then I want to see the next one and the next one, but... Okay. Um, we'll do this one, then we'll get over to the other one. I should get down to some of the, like, the little cards and things that we did. I think there were more of those in that second batch, though. Oh, this is uh, Sage is what this one is okay so pretty like it oops 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 oh look this is the this is the ledger oh my gosh this is so pretty and it's blowing in the wind so i can't oh <laughs> like Laurel and Hardy make a movie. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough of that one. Let's call that one good for now. And let's undo the one that I added the green to. I'm just curious to see. It, it looks about the same, to be honest. So I don't know. Maybe this is just the color my eco dye is going to come out. I don't know. Okay. Ugh. Sorry, struggling with the wire a little bit here. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Ooh, that's cool how that came out. It came out with little, almost like grid paper. And so this is just a piece of, um, this is a piece of watercolor paper. Ah, wind. We we'll need the wind at this moment. My husband was just telling me that the fire danger is high. Yikes, that's what we get in August. So there's that one. Sorry about the shading of the tree, but it's too hot out there to be out in the hot. So I'm gonna make the, a different stack of those just in case when they dry, they turn out different. Okay, I wanna peel down and see if I can get to some of the, um, uh, like other pieces, not paper, but their pieces. Ooh, st this one's still hot. Still hot. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look at that leaf print. Ow, that really was hot. <laughs> so, like I say, this one's straight out of the pot. Might be better to wait a little bit, but Well, that's just mud is all that is. And it just tore. Okay. We're going to be, we're going to be done with this one and go back to the other one, I think, because it's still too soggy. Works a little bit better. I don't think there's any difference in color, guys. I really don't. So that experiment was, I mean, I guess it's good to know, but sometimes they just, what you think might happen. Ooh, this is cool though. Look at how that made that little leaf print right there. That was a lobelia leaf. And it's got the little yellow and the, you can see the petals. That's fun. That's what I like is when you really can see the outline of the plant. So let's see, what else do I need to tell you? Um, well, I need to tell you my paper <laughs> went away. Um, Let's see. I'm just thinking back on the process and trying to figure out what what I left out. I don't I don't really think I left anything out, but as always, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Ooh, that's pretty. That was a rose. That one. That was a rose. So those are pretty. That turned out really nice. I like that one a lot. Um, so anyway, ask me questions below if you have any. And um, I would just say buy a really super cheap pan and um, at Goodwill or something because it gets really gross with the um, 
with all of the rusty bits and everything. And the other thing I wanted to tell you, I do this outside. I know some people do it inside. Uh, those didn't make much of a mark. Darn, I was hoping. Um, most, uh, or some people do it inside. And I had heard before, look at those little berries, the fun things those made. Um, I've heard people say before that, that it releases some type of chemicals that aren't good for a human to be around. So I choose not to do it inside, but if you do do it inside, make sure your windows are open and you're kind of well ventilated. Ew, I don't know. But those are pretty. That's pretty. So anyway, with all of that, be careful. Don't burn yourself. <laughs> Uh, don't do it with closed windows, uh, any other disclaimers safety wise, but, um, but it is fun and you get some really cool papers. So what I'm going to do is let all these dry and then in the next episode, whatever crafty thing I'm doing, um, I will first show you these two batches of paper before we get started on whatever we do tomorrow. And thanks again, honey, for videoing. And thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.